Today, we will perform experiment to find out the frequency and wavelength in a rectangular waveguide for TE10 mode. To perform this experiment, we need to set up microwave bench. Here you see the test bench setup, which is same as we discussed in previous experiment. There is only change in our setup that we use slotted section here to determine frequency and wavelength. Here you can see a tunable probe that will observe maxima and minima for this purpose. To perform experiment, first set square wave operation on klystron power supply and get square wave output on CRO as we get in experiment 1. For more detail, you can prefer experiment 1 of microwave bench. After getting good amount of square wave output, we will find out frequency by using DRF meter. Tune the frequency meter slowly to get deep on CRO. Note down value of frequency at the deep and also detune DRF meter to get proper square wave output. Now, let's measure the frequency using by slotted section, connect tunable probe with CRO and tuned it for maximum output as shown in this video. After tuning the probe, move tunable probe along with slotted line to get minimum output position on CRO. At the point where we will get minimum output is called MIMA. Record the position of slotted line vernier scale at this point as D1. After getting first minimum as D1, move slotted line for getting second consecutive minima and record as D2. After getting values of two minima positions as D1 and D2, find out guided wavelength, cutoff wavelength and free space wavelength by using formulas. Now, find out frequency by the formula as given. We can also use VSWR meter instead of CRO for this experiment. Remove CRO and connect VSWR meter. Now, set VSWR meter for decibels and select range for 30 to 40 decibels. Crystal button should be at 200 ohms. Mode should be at normal. Also, 
remember that, VSWR meter readings, are, always, negative, 17. Switch on, SWR meter, you will see, power levels on LCD's second row. By moving slotted line section, you will notice, change in power levels. Power levels goes, minimum in case of minima, and maximum for maxima. Record slotted line section values, as D1 and D2, for, two consecutive minima, and calculate, guided wavelength, and frequency.